back to my channel. Today I have Google Picks My Makeup which is a challenge going around YouTube at the moment and I thought I'd play along. I'm not entirely sure who created this challenge but I believe it was Nikki Tutorials. I will link whoever created it down below. So yeah, if you want to see what Google picks for my makeup then keep on watching. I've already googled um, what Google picks for me. I've typed in like primer, foundation, blusher, etc. I've already screenshotted the what it's come out, so I will put it up in the, on the screen somewhere. I have it all in my makeup bag here. It actually doesn't feel heavy for some reason. If you see paint everywhere, I have some on my arm, but they. I was painting earlier, I am a art student, I might have some stuck in my nails. I have washed it and it just won't come off, so ignore that. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with primer, as I said, I'm going to put it up on the screen somewhere. The first one, oh, and I'm also going to choose from the first like four items that come up on the screen, just because I might not have one and I'm not willing to spend money on more makeup that I don't need because I am a makeup shopper -oholic. But anyway, I have this one, and this is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Base Base, which looks like this. It's just a really nice moisturizing face primer. I think it's meant to be just a moisturizer, but the smell of this is amazing. Okay, so I'm just going to dip my sponge in there, get some product, and blend it on my face. I have dampened my sponge. My skin is, ah, oh, I just put myself in the eye. My skin is quite bad at the moment. Um, I think it's because I've been applying paint on my face. Um, I've recorded me applying paint on my face because of my art project in university and I have recorded it because I was thinking of uploading it to YouTube but I'm not sure. If you'd like to see that then let me know in the comments or like in this video. It's really interesting. Um, I'm inspired by Sophie Derrick who is an amazing contemporary artist. Okay so I absolutely love that primer. It is gorgeous. Gives my skin a really nice glow. Okay, so next is this. I do have the e.l.f. one, but I haven't tried it yet, so I thought I don't want to use that one yet because I'm waiting for to use in like an, a different video and it is quite dark and I'm not. I'm quite tanned at the moment because it's really sunny outside, but I don't think I'm that tanned. I need to self-tan. Anyway, I'm rambling. The one I chose is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. What was that? So I have the colour Golden Beige, which is still quite a tan shade, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Yes, it is quite dark, but I think it actually is going to suit me. Make sure to blend it down my neck. Um, I like this foundation for every day. I wouldn't necessarily wear it in the night when I'm going clubbing just because it's not a very full coverage foundation but it is a really nice foundation for I would say for dry skin but I used to have oily skin um, I tend to mainly have dry combo skin now I haven't used this foundation in quite a while if you want to see my top five no, top 10 favourite drugstore foundations, then I'll link it in the eye up here. And I also did one for concealers, top 5 drugstore concealers, so again I'll link it up there. Okay, so that foundation is actually really nice. It's nice and dewy, it's actually quite a nice shade. It's a little tiny bit dark for me at the moment because I am not as dark as I normally am when I'm self tanned. For the concealer, again, I used to wear this a lot, but lately I haven't been using it, or for the past couple of months. Um, I used to wear this a lot out clubbing, but it's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I got the shade NW15, which is 
the best shade for me. I don't like that it's got a pump, but what can you do? I want to do videos more like this because I want to start using products that I used to love and don't use anymore or like new products, etc. And hopefully it brings me out of my comfort zone when trying new products because sometimes I just stick to what I know and love. I remember this fact, this concealer was quite high coverage so you don't need a lot. The shade is really bright which I also love because it is beautiful on me anyway. Some people don't like a bright and dry, they just like a little tiny bit lighter than their actual skin tone. I'm sorry if I keep looking in the viewfinder, it's because I'm scared that I'm not in focus. I think I'm okay. Oh, I had a haircut the other day and I had about four inches off my hair. Probably not that much, but I know I had more than two inches. It looks so much more healthier, thanks to my sister. That concealer blended out so nice. I think it's a little bit dewier than I remember because of the primer we used, but that is great because I've been loving that look lately. Okay, so really like this. Okay, so the only powder I had on the list I've just realised there's a mineralised skin finish. I do have a MAC mineralised skin finish, but I wanted to use a loose face powder. I wish I wrote that on the thing now, but oh well. This came up anyway on the fourth choice. First and third, I didn't, I don't have. But this I do, it's the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is amazing. I haven't used this in God knows how long. I'm just going to use my sponge and I'm not necessarily going to bake, I'm just going to do my under eyes first of course and just pack that on to make sure I don't get any crease in and I'm also going to go around the whole entire face with this. Even though I like how dewy the foundation's looking, um, I like to do this just because it keeps the makeup on longer and yeah, getting powder everywhere. Okay, so just to get the excess off, I'm just going to get a big fluffy brush and dab it into my skin. This just locks it in and it keeps the makeup on for longer, I think. I'm thinking of doing a prom series on my channel. If you would like that, then make sure to comment down below or like this video. I am interested in doing a load of festival makeup as well because I have been loving how the festival makeups are looking this year so far. So let me know if you want that. Okay, so for bronzer, I have the Hoola by Benefit. This is amazing. I love this for mainly contouring, but bronzing, fair enough. So I'm going to take this brush and just contour. This brush is so annoying, it's nice for getting into the cheekbones and stuff, but it sheds like a bitch. I don't want to bronze too much because this foundation is quite dark already. Okay, so I've always liked the Hoola bronzer, so that is a great choice by Google. Okay, so next is blusher. Now, blusher, I only have MAC powder blush. I'm kind of cheating a little bit because Google didn't have the shade that I have, and I only have one of these, well, two, I think. Um, and this was like kind of the closest colour match. But the top one was peaches, then it goes desert rose, is it? It's desert something. Um, but they're all MAC blushes, so I thought this was okay. Um, I got Melba, which is a nice peachy, pinky shade, which I absolutely love. <laughs> I never used to like blush, but now I am getting into it a lot more than I used to like it. I just thought it was pointless at one point, but now I actually do enjoy it. So yeah, that is Melba by MAC. Really nice pigmented, but not too pigmented, blushes from MAC. Okay, so next for setting spray. I always set my face at this point, and I didn't know I had not that much. But it's the MAC Fix Plus. Of course, this had to be the top pick, so I'm just going to spritz that before my highlighter to lock everything in. 
Okay, so I actually haven't used this in a while. When I start seeing the products start running out, I stop using them because I don't want to run out anymore. Um, sounds weird, but it's true. Um, this is amazing, it smells amazing, and it locks everything in. And if your face is looking powdery, this just blends everything together. That's why I use it at this stage. Next for highlight, I have the Soft and Gentle by MAC. Again, a cult favourite. I haven't used this in a while, but it is really nice. It's a pink, more of a pinky toned highlight, which I don't mind, but I have been liking more of a champagne highlight. So to soften that out, I'm going to blend it in with everything else because you don't want a harsh line of highlight. No one really talks about soft and gentle anymore, but I like it. Okay, so next I have brows, and I feel like this is going to take me a while because I'm not used to using anything other than brow pomades. But today I am using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Looks like this. Everyone raves about the the precisely my brow pencil, but I don't have that one. But today I'm going to be using this one because it is the fourth pick, but I don't have any of the other ones, so thank god I have this one. Okay, so this has a weird point to it and I've never used... Have I used this before? I might have used it in a video, but it's quite different to what I am used to. I have number four and it's turning out quite warm, but I like more of a ashy toned brown. Okay, so that product was really hard to use. As you can see, it's quite a warm tone. I hope you can see. Um, it was quite a hard product to use, which is unfortunate, but I give it another go, but it was really hard to use because the angle and like the shape of it and stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna have to use that again. Um, I do need to pluck my eyebrows, so. Okay, so next is eyeshadow. So the only one on the top four I had was the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I can officially say I absolutely love this palette. As you can see, I have hit pan on most of the shades. Um, I'm gonna try and be creative with this because everyone's bringing out all the creative, colourful looks. I'm gonna try and not use the colours that I've hit pan on. So yeah, I think it's gonna be like a pinky look. Pinky orangey look. So I'm gonna try and create, I'm gonna try and create a half cut crease as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna zoom you in before I forget. Whee! Okay. Okay, so if that isn't up close and personal, I don't know what it is. Please ignore my eyebrows, they are horrendous. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to go in with is Ralgar, which is a orange shade. And see where this takes me. I'm going to try and build up the colours and take my precious time with this. Okay, so I'm going quite high with this. It's looking good. It's actually not as orange as I thought it was going to be. It's quite a darker orange. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Morphe M441 and I'm going to delve into the pink shade. I'm going to go in with Love Letter, which is by here. to look like I have a bruised eye so I'm going to try and build this shade up as much as I can what I love about this palette is that I don't get any fallout which is bloody great I want to be more creative with my looks, not just create a video. I want to make it look creative because I am, at the end of the day, an art student and I want it to look good, you know? So, 
I've been watching old Love Island episodes lately on Netflix. Seems it's coming on soon, unless it's already started, I'm not really sure. I don't really watch normal TV. It's actually really good. The only Love Island I've watched is last year and that was really good. I really enjoyed that. But I didn't even know there was one before that and there's been a few. I swear one guy came back on to Love Island from like 10 years ago. How mad is that? It's crazy. Okay, so I think I've built that up enough. So now I'm going to cut my crease. I'm going to get the MAC Pro Longwear and I'm going to use the Real Techniques Detailer Brush which is a really small brush. Let me know down below some really good eye brushes that are good for creating a cut crease because I am on the hunt. <coughs> hate creating cut creases but now I think I'm getting used to it. It just proves that with practice makes perfect. Okay so now I'm going to set it with a little bit of that Laura Mercier powder. So I'm going to take the brush I used with, for the pink. Um, I'm going to take that brush we used for the pink and I'm just going to blend. I'm going to take a more flatter brush and I'm going to take Premiera, Premiera, which is a gold shade, and I'm going to pack that on. Okay, so I'm going to spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus, and then I'm going to go back in with that shade. Oh, I, I just hit pan. Just keep blending the pink and that shade together. And then for my brow bone highlight and inner corner highlight. I'm just going to use a bit of soft and gentle just like that and that's the eye done. But I'm going to go off camera and do the other eye and then I'll be back. Okay so I've done that. I hope they look kind of similar. I'm still testing how to do cut creases on myself but I think they look decently okay. I hope. Um, next, I'm going to do my lower lash line. So I'm going to take the orange shade we took, Ralgar, and I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. And I'm going to really smoke that out. Okay, so I've really smoked that out. I'm going to add a little tiny bit of Love Letter on the outer corner, just to blend the top bit to the lower. Um, so that's all I'm going to do for the eyeshadow. Um, I hope it looks okay. I know they look a little bit different, but nobody's perfect, you know? So next I have eyelashes. Okay, so for eyelashes, the top pick was the Ardell Wispy Lashes. Now, I've worn these a few times. They are actually really nice. I like them. So I'm going to be applying these. And you can get away with not applying eyeliner as well, which is great. I need to stop slouching. I have the Duo Lash Glue which is the brush on adhesive with vitamins which is the best lash glue I think so I'm going to apply glue to these so whilst that dries I'm going to apply mascara the top pick for mascara is the Benefit Roller Lash this is a really good mascara fair play the wand is like a plasticky wand loads of people rave about these, this but firstly I'm going to curl my lashes Okay, so that mascara is nice for lengthening, I would say. It's not clumpy whatsoever. Whatsoever? Whatsoever. It's just a really nice mascara. So I'm just going to apply these. Eyelashes hate me. Okay, so those are the eyes. Hopefully my eyelashes stay put. So all we have left now is lips. So for lip liner, I have the MAC lip pencil in Baldy Bay. It's just a nice nude shade. I absolutely love MAC lip liners. They are the best. They're so creamy and pigmented. Oh my god, I've started applying this without even telling you guys what I'm actually applying. Um, this is the MAC, what's this called? Retro Matte Lip Liquid Lip Colour. 
I have the shade Lady Be Good. So it just looks like this. I haven't actually worn these for very long. And mine has been like leaking. This is the sort of lipstick to get on your teeth. Make sure you don't get it on your teeth. This is the final look that Google created for me. Make sure to comment down below if you enjoy these types of videos. I really enjoyed creating this. I'm thinking of doing the Siri version. So let me know down below if you'd like to see that. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I just hope you enjoyed the video. That's it. That's it. That's it. See you in my next one, guys. I love you to the moon and back.